travel across America with me. Let's go to the historic seaport, Harbor Walk in Key West. Um, which one do you want? Um, you know what? I'd take any of them. Look at the big fish. Oh, look at the pelicans. Okay, more to choose from? How about a sunset cruise on a catamaran? Oh, that sounds lovely, doesn't it? And who is Norberg Thompson? He loved his island city and served as its mayor. He devoted his life to aiding and providing employment for its people for over 50 years. Most of his accomplishments were located along this harbor. They included sponging, fishing, shrimping, ice making, a cigar box factory, gourmet turtle soup, pineapple and guava canning, barge and truck lines, etc. Well, this guy sounds like he would be pretty interesting to talk with, doesn't he? Never heard to brag. He epitomized. Greatness has a soft voice. There's lots of fun sights and things to see along the Harbor Walk and plenty of restaurants. And look at this sticker wall. This building has stickers all over it. So when you go down there, have an extra sticker. I didn't know about this sticker wall. I didn't have an extra sticker. You know, I should have just bought one and put one on this wall. Isn't this awesome? How many stickers do you think are on this wall? Leave a comment of how many you think. They're going around the back side now. Nice. And look at this. Isn't this a beauty? Did you know? Well, I don't know. Let's see. In August of 1851, the Schooner America, representing the New York Yacht Club, sailed to Cowes, England to compete in the Royal Yacht Squadron Regatta as part of the First World's Fair. Oh, I wish I could have gone to some of these World's Fair back then. I did go to a World's Fair one time. Oh, boy, that was awful. Anyway, despite tough conditions, the vessel won handily and gained international fame, which led to the creation of the America's Cup race. That's an amazing bit of history. The vessel in front of you, Schooner America 2.0, was built in 2011 by Scarano Boat Building in New York. She was designed to closely resemble the lines and style of the original Schooner America while incorporating modern technology and materials such as a carbon fiber standing rigging and electric sail drives. Wow, sounds like they're almost taking the fun out of sailing. But you can take a cruise on this beautiful schooner and tour it. Lots of fun things to do on the Harbor Walk. Turtle Crawls Museum. As long as humans have inhabited the Florida Keys, turtles have been a valuable and much sought after food source. Our son loves turtle soup. Ah, uh, not sure about me. For decades, this building and its crowls operated as a cannery in the center of the turtle industry. Crowls takes their name from the Dutch African word for corral. They functioned as holding pens for captured turtles. 200 years of overfishing led to near extinction of the turtle population. The Endangered Species Act of 1971 led to the demise of the cannery. It was circa 1920. And if you've watched the other videos on Key West, you'll have learned about the free audio walking tour. This is number 78. I just love these signs. Do you see anywhere that you've been or that you would like to go? Um, yeah, lots of places. I've been to Longview, Texas, and I definitely want to go to the Czech Republic. I've been to Fortville, Indiana, and Minnequa, Wisconsin? I think probably so. I think I've probably been there. And who's this guy? He's Henry C. Balti, Singleton Senior. It says 1917 to 1983, seafood pioneer and visionary. Oh, well, that's nice. Please subscribe. And if you have, thank you. And if you haven't, could you do that? And who is this guy? Sponges, shells, old bones. Look at this thing. I bet he's dry, real dry. And this old car with more stickers. You just gotta take a sticker. You gotta buy a sticker. There's two places now that you can be sticking a sticker. And of course, don't forget to send yourself a postcard. You won't want to miss the videos on other sites in the Keys. And leave a comment, flip-flops on the ground. The historic schooners, restaurants and shops on the Key West Historic Seaport. It's located in the historic district on Caroline Street between Grinnell and Elizabeth Streets. Not far from the Key Lime Place. When you're walking the streets, you don't want to forget to go see the southernmost point where U.S. Highway 
one north begins. It's the Florida Keys Scenic Highway. This is mile marker zero. You'll want to go take your picture by this sign for sure, along with a buoy. And then there's Harry S. Truman Little White House. It's the must-see historical sites video on Key West. And why a key lime in your pie? It's Kermit's. You've got to go there. It's right near the Harbor Walk. Flip-flops on the ground. Unclassic road trip. And this is Robert's Fruit Stand. You've got to go there. It's in Florida City, not far from Homestead. And I did a video on this also, and a video on Coral Castle. There's so many phenomenal videos in South Florida. Go to my playlist on travel and food. Please subscribe. Thank you.